Hey guys, I'm Jeremy here for The Armory Life. Home defense is one of the most important factors in firearms ownership, besides of course, everyday carry. But when defending our homes, we have a lot more options for the tools and accessories we can choose. Unlike your EDC, your home defense firearm should be very capable, have ample ammunition, be short enough to move through doors and hallways, and be equipped with a light, and also have a method of signature reduction for example, light and sound. Now we won't really dive into the caliber debate as there are as many for as there are against in that category. Let's just say that you should use what you're comfortable with and what you have trained with. You should also be very aware in your home, your lines of sights and your lanes of possible engagement. That way you can minimize any potential harm to loved ones or neighbors. I will say without a whole lot of extensive testing and a lot of knowledge of different stuff out there, it's a little bit hard to determine what you should or shouldn't attach to that weapon with gear that will perform every time when it's needed. Now I've been fortunate enough to get a hold of a lot of gear and have a lot of training to kind of navigate that and figure out what really is some good gear that just works every time when you need it to. And while we're on the topic of home defense, you should definitely have a safe place to store this firearm that is also within quick access should you need it in an emergency. Now after I received the Hellion from Springfield Armory, I could tell that this was an exceptionally capable firearm that really excelled in the CQB close quarter combat combat arena. The short overall length of the Hellion makes it a great choice for moving through tight spaces. The Hellion also employs a standard 30 capacity 5.56 magazine, giving you more than enough ammunition to stop a threat in its tracks. Now to outfit the rifle further with some essentials for home defense. I started with the fore end of the rifle to see the positioning for a weapon light and pressure pad. I was ecstatic to see the whole fore end removes from the rifle with a single pin. This made attaching accessories an absolute breeze. For the weapon light, I chose a Surefire M600 Pro, which fit perfectly into the M-Lock on the top nine o'clock slot. I then used a Surefire UE07 smaller switch because you can slip it into the M-Lock slots and then through the other side. This hides the wire inside the rail and keeps everything tidy. To attach the switch at the three o'clock position, I used a Magpul tape switch mounting plate. The mounting of the light and switch are very low profile and really clean, almost as if they were made for the Hellion. We now have the capability to identify targets in low or no light situations. Now one of my favorite ways to grip a rifle is a modified C-clamp, using a hand stop to stack my pinky and ring fingers on. This allows me to pull the rifle into my chest, as well as being able to properly grip the rail. To accomplish this, my preferred device is the Bravo Company Vertical Grip Mod 3. It's a stubby grip with a bit of an angle. It works fantastic to really control the rifle and create a repeatable indexing point for your support hand. I attached the M-Lock grip at the six o'clock closest to the trigger guard. For the optic, I went with the Aimpoint Pro. The Hellion is a larger looking rifle, so I thought the Pro with its larger body looked really great on the rail. It's also combat proven and has a three year battery life. The Hellion's top rail is a bit taller than the buttstock. For that reason, I used an American Defense Manufacturing low mount for the Pro. This put the optic at about the one third co-witness height, still being able to use the irons through the optic. A red dot optic is great for quick sight acquisition at close to medium ranges. For signature reduction, we are talking about muzzle flash and the sound of the rifle firing. To eliminate both signatures, we can look at suppressors. Suppressors for a home defense weapon are hotly debated, but they do have merit. Have you ever fired your rifle in the dark to be momentarily blinded by the muzzle flash or shot your rifle without hearing protection? Both of these can be extremely disorienting. Therefore, reducing the flash and sound greatly can have advantages within the home. The Hellion comes from the factory with an adjustable gas system, which also greatly aids the weapon in performing while suppressed. I went with a Silencer Co. 36M in the shorter configuration to keep the overall length of the rifle on the short side to maintain the advantage of the bullpup. With the suppressor attached, the rifle measures in at only 32 inches. I really love the handling of the Hellion's compact nature. The BCM vert grip really helped keep the rifle secure in my hands to mitigate recoil. The positioning of the Surefire light and switch were easily accessible in my reach while being out of the way when I didn't need the white light. The Aimpoint Pro is such an easy optic to work with. The glass is super clear and the reticle is nice and bright, even in daylight. Attaching a suppressor to a 16 inch barrel usually makes the rifle a bit unwieldy. The bullpup nature of the Hellion makes adding a suppressor a non-factor for the length. What does your home defense setup look like? Let us know in the discussion board.